sorry for the people who live here but i gotta check that out again <laughs> that was an expensive ticket i think i'm just gonna have to ignore these lights oh this is bad oh front wheels going from left to right oh this is bad it's not an adventure until you're lost <laughs> yo guys welcome back to the channel welcome oh <laughs> welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another video yes last video we brought back the multistrada rs uh multistrada rs yeah there's nothing nothing that comes after the rs and today's video we are back on another multistrada yeah another press lead bike this is the uh, new uh, v4s grand tour which is basically like the V4S, but then with some Grand Tour options, which is made for, yeah, you guessed it, Grand Touring, doing Grand Tours. Not sure if they stole the name from uh, Top Gear Grand Tour. I have no idea. But anyway, uh, heated grips, which the RS did not have. Uh, this is all standard equipment. So heated seat. We got some cases in the back. We got heated grips. So uh, there is a lot more inside of this package for a better price. So you guys are getting a bargain when getting the the Multistrada Grand Tour. Now, of course, with this bike, probably going to do a 700, 800 kilometer ride in a single day next week as well. So yeah, actually looking forward to it. Now, first thing right off the bat that I can say already, the difference between this bike and the Multistrada RS, this is, I mean, when I want to go to the left or the right, it is more comfortable. It is more easy to do with the Multistrada RS. Yeah, that is just like a sport bike. When you turn your handlebar, it just goes left and right and left and right, like very fast, like very crazy to, to handle. So it's actually also, of course, it is made for like track use as well. You can drive to this, you can ride to the south of Italy, to the racetrack over there and just do some couple laps on the racetrack and ride it all the way back. That is especially what that bike is made for. But that also makes it very aggressive and very, yeah, it's not, it's not like I want to say like, yeah, it is aggressive, of course but very what is the what's the what is the word i'm looking here for like oh i mean this is fast make oh i heard my my headset was acting up weird i don't want to say like aggressive but more like very nimble very very hard on the throttle the least amount of throttle you you give it the bike just shoots out like a rocket and it's very aggressive to ride now this one it's just like I said th th in the previous video this gives me some BMW jet feelings it is perfectly soft it is perfectly comfortable but sometimes that also makes a motorcycle a little bit boring now don't want to call a uh, Multistrada boring because this is not a boring motorcycle make no mistake this is a, a very quick motorcycle but for some reason this just makes me want to ride all freaking day long and go on long travels the Multistrada RS was fun for a day but I can't really imagine myself doing many kilometers on that engine. And also, the uh, Multisol RS has 118 newton meters of torque. And this one has, if I'm not mistaken, like 128. So this bike has 170 horsepower. The uh, RS has 180 horsepower. So you get more horsepower on the RS, but less torque as this one. Because, of course, the RS is made for track use and race use. And this is made for touring use. So they gave this motorcycle this engine more torque a little bit less horsepower and that makes it more yeah more easy to ride because you have the torque and you don't have to put it up to as high as rpms and i, I make no mistake i kind of like uh, riding uh, high rpms but also yeah there's there is such a big difference this is just a, a more easy bike to ride anyway <laughs> now uh, also pretty fun fact the Multistrada RS was of course brand spanking new it had like uh, 300 kilometers on the dash and I have been riding that in so uh, rodage as we call it I had to do that so I could only floor I only floored it like maybe two three times max also did not max out my rpms and I've just been told that Ducati built in like some kind of limiter so the engine was not at its maximum just yet and you guys have seen my video it was actually pretty crazy how fast that motorcycle was yeah it wasn't really at its max because Ducati does build software it does have software inside of the engine that protects it from idiots like me giving it too much gas and destroying the engine before its first maintenance and before its first 1000 kilometer service so yeah this one as well <laughs> this one as well once again this one has 706 kilo for pigeon pigeon yeah so uh don't mind me being scared of pigeons but i once got hit by a pigeon at about 70 80 kilometers an hour in the chest and that pigeon just smacked the wind out of me the pigeon was fine it walked away uh 
probably on crutches but the smack the wind out of me is so bad I'm pretty scared of pigeons pigeons so yeah this bike only has 706 kilometers so we have to ride it in yet again just like the Multishot RS so a lot of riding a lot of shifting shifting up shifting down quick shift up quick shifting down using the clutch just riding it in simple give it a little bit of gas over 700 kilometers you can open the throttle a little bit more have some fun with it don't be an idiot don't full throttle it don't ref limit it and you'll be just fine now uh, i just figured out it is only one o'clock and since i don't really have a boss or a job to do today well we're just gonna we're just gonna put it 1000 first kilometers on it so we're gonna ride like three four hundred kilometers it's only one o'clock i don't care so let's put uh, the gps on and this one also has like this weird i don't like it Ducati, I seriously don't like it. And I also do not have a charger down there besides that one. Yeah, no USB on top there as well. So I might have to put like a cable all the way here to charge my GPS. But hey, it is what it is. We gotta put on the GPS. Not really sure where we're gonna go. It's gonna be a secret. What in the world? Anyway, let's go. Now, there's a lot of things that I use to navigate. Most of the time it's my uh, uh, GPS that I use. It's the Garmin Zumo. And I use the Explore app that is right over here, the Explore app. And I can just add some GPX files into it and write all the way. I also discovered Wikilock with my Suzuki Jimny a couple months ago. And if I uh, it searches routes for me, I just filter it up to, let's say, it has to be at least 100 kilometers or I don't want to ride it. And also we have motorcycle in there. I know it's Dutch, but we just tape the motorcycle. And then we can see all the motorcycle routes that somebody has made. This is 113 kilometers. We can first near Abdei of Postel, the Postel Abdei. Yeah, look at that. You have like a, whoop, a giant GPS route like that. Follow the route. So you can just start riding. I think it's pretty close to where I'm at. We want to see how to get to the route. Yes, it's not that far. Apple Maps, Waze. Nah, Apple Maps is good, I think. Not really sure if I have Apple Maps, but oh yeah, look at that. It's like 11 kilometers for the route to start. And when we're there, we can start the route. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I also gotta gotta take out my cable. Not real sure I'm gonna do this, but it needs to be done. Yeah, I don't have I don't have that specific charger, so gotta do something like this. Stretch it out just a little bit because I still want to be able to turn my handlebar. Do it like that, and then we we'll put it in here. This is this is not optimum. This is not optimal. This is oh, not really sure if that stays close like that, but. Oh, Ducati, uh, what are you doing to me? Oh, I don't want to close it. Okay, not going to close it. Left and right, I have more than enough space. Okay, just going to keep it like that. It's not optimal, it is what it is. Let's go. Got to make sure my standard is gone. I have some very bad experiences with uh, Ducatis and the standards. Standards, how do you say it in English? A standard. A, a stand? The stand? Standard? Yeah, something like that. I have some bad experience with it because I dropped the Rally X before. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, I, I already put the stand to the side. Oh, Smokey, stupid idiot. Took away the stand and I thought, let's talk about the tires. I tried to put it back on the stand, but the stand was already gone. And when these bikes go over a certain angle, like that, yeah, you're probably gonna pop out your knee or something else bad happens, but yeah, you can't really hold on to it. Anyway, let's go to the Abdei. Abdei is some kind of castle. Castle or something. A nice ride after that. Might get some food at the Abdei as well. Now I'm just gonna ride back for a second because there is a speed camera. It's not really a camera. I don't think it's taking my license plate, but it actually says how much euros your speeding ticket will be right away. That's like, that's like really fast. I gotta, gotta check that out. I was doing like 65 and it's at like 50 euros. So we gotta see how much, how much money we are gonna have to pay in tickets. So we're just gonna do like 75, something like 80. 77 means 59 to 140 euro ticket. Oh, oh shit. So uh, that was like 85. That's a 50 to 150 euro ticket. Uh, maybe we'll try it just one more time. Eh? <laughs> what do you think the uh, the first prize is here? What do you what do you think the top speed was? <laughs> Let's see how much we can get by just pulling up. Now oh, this is kind of like this this kind of making videos a little bit too much here so we're very close to it oh 
We did 91 yet again. 59 to 143 euro tickets. Yeah, I mean, that's not all too shabby. <laughs> that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Anyway, there's a lot of people living here, so always take it on the slope. Stay closed, you. Don't go open. Oh, I also wanted to pop a wheelie. I'm not really sure how the wheelie control is set to the touring mode, but it almost came up. Hey! I like these speed cameras. Yeah, don't tell anybody to uh, ever put license plates in the front of motorcycles. Now, there was a sign on the left that said Double D Ranch. Country and Western Club. Double D Ranch. Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're at the spot where we need to be, so let's uh, change up the GPS. Yeah. So we go back into the Wikilock app. Start to navigate. Oh, it's like a big circle to... Uh, what is over there? Something over there. There's like water here. Something over there. Maybe some food. I don't know. Okay, start navigation. Look at that. No, don't need to record. Don't need to record. I don't want... No, 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 no. I don't want to record it. So where is the route? Where is it? There is no route. Oh, it's too far away. What do you mean it's too far away? Huh? It's all the way over there? What happened here? It sent me over here. Ah, it's all the way over there. God dang it. Follow this road. Okay, I'll get there. I'll get there. When it comes to GPSs, I'm like really bad. Where was that biker ranch? Where was that western ranch? Western ranch double D. It was somewhere on the left here. Yeah, double D's. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Here's the sign. Here's the sign. Look at that. Double D Ranch. Country and Western Club. Bud Light. <laughs> that was probably not going to be Bud Light. I said Bud Light uh, once uh, before in the video and a lot of people was like, Smokey, you don't want to drink Bud Light. Something with a uh, transgender or something. I don't know. I have no idea what it was, but I know uh, stocks dropped a lot on Bud Light. Yeah. Go. So we have to find that spot over there. And then I can show you guys how much fun that Wikilock app is. Not sponsored whatsoever, I just use Wikilock from time to time. So it's pretty good. Just like that, it takes over the map. Yeah, gotta zoom it in just a little bit right there. And we're good to go. Look at that. We're already en route. Yeah, kind of like that Wikilock uh, stuff. <gasps> easy now, easy now, Smokey. A lot of houses, a lot of kids playing. Well, they're at school actually, but still, you never know. Oh, opposite direction. No, no, no. Follow, follow in the opposite direction. Sure. Press enter. Yeah, there we go. Just gonna ride it backwards. Now a small pro tip. Some of you numbnuts out there. Um, this app, you can start uh, recording uh, navigation. So you can make your own routes by just riding your favorite route uh, near your house or something you really like. And then you can just throw it online. Now you can, of course, start the app from your own house. Uh, first of all, that is not a smart idea to start a route from your own house because a lot of people will might show up at your doorstep just to start. And the second thing that a lot of people do, this is also the reason why a lot of race bikes have been stolen lately, because a lot of these guys like Strava. You have Strava and ride in your uh, spandex suit as well. Yeah, For in this app example, I can add a picture. I can add a picture at my location. And when I start adding a picture with my very expensive motorcycle, and also, oh, I have to go left here. And not only that, I'm also adding my house location. Eh, not really the best idea. So when I go into Strava and I can see some of my friends who are a couple idiots with them, uh, among them, I can see where they start their Strava tip because they want to have as many kilometers as they can. Because, you know, it's Strava. It didn't happen unless it's on Strava. So yeah, and they also post a picture half wake having a drink on their brand new spanking specialized Vinge or a bike that costs 10 grand and then they also add their uh, starting location. So for thieves it's pretty easy. You just go onto Strava, you look for specific bikes, specific routes where you live or where you're stealing things and it's easy like that. You can just go and get the bike at the garage. Yeah, so with this app also and with other apps away, we'll be very careful when putting up some uh, information and where you start your GPS. Yeah, smoky special. Thank me later. Oh, this dude walking his wolf over here. What is that, my man? Is that a wolf? Oh, that's cool doggy. Cool doggo. There's another speed camera and it's only like 50 here. And it's, it showed me like 200 euro ticket. That was... 
that one. I'm sorry for the people who live here, but I gotta check that out again. Whew, that was an expensive ticket. That was like... Oh, say that's already orange, so you can only do like 50 here. I did like 70 or something, and this sign said like 200 euro ticket. Holy cow, that is... That is expensive. This is gonna be an expensive day though, if uh, they start taking uh, speeding tickets from the front. Yeah, this might get very expensive though. <laughs> I was, too, I was going that fast. I was doing like this, starts red. 119 to 273 euro ticket. Holy cow, I was only doing like 50 in a 70 in a 50 zone. That is very expensive. Not as expensive as my uh, Dubai tickets though. Uh, three, three speeding tickets in Dubai with that rented Lamborghini. 1,250 euro on speeding tickets. Oh shit, I have to go left here. Oh, hot on the brakes. Yeah, the brakes are a little bit more soft at the Multisada RS. Yeah, I gotta, gotta remind myself of that. Oh, but the torque, the torque! Oh, the torque I love. Holy cow, that is, uh, that is the Togerlo Abdei or something. That is, that is a giant place. Can we get close? Can we get close? Also gotta check out what tires I have on this motorcycle because, uh, wait a minute. I am uh, not really sure what tires are on the motorcycle, I just jumped on. And if there's like knobby tires on it, I can do a little bit more of uh, the gnarly off-roading stuff. But now I have no idea. Anyway, this is, a, this is a pretty darn big place. Can I ride inside of the building? Yeah, probably not. not a very good idea, Smokey. Oh, here we go, here we go. We already get the... Uh, look at that. We're going off-road, off-road already. It's not an, uh, it's not a rally, Smokey. It's not a, it's not a rally bike. It's a Grand Tour. Yeah, gotta check out the tires first. Ooh. I've lost the route. It says, ah, Wiki Luck, you make me laugh. Let's check out the tires for just a quick second here. Ah, ah. no, nah, it's not. Nah, that's not. That's not an off-road tire whatsoever. What they put on there? Scorpion. Scorpion trail. Yeah, it's a scorpion trail tires, but uh, yeah, that's not gonna be it's not gonna be a good thing. Anyway, uh, we also uh, got 19-inch wheel in the front, which means it is not as quickly to respond as the RS with its 17-inch wheel, of course. But for me, I like it to be a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more square. Can I say it like that? Like a little bit more square to run. Oh my god. This guy also has my car in math. What the hell? What kind of rap is that dude? That is that is ugly as hell. Anyway, so yeah, it is a little bit harder to look at that. If I do like this on this bike, it's very gentle. If I would be doing this with the RS, I would be somewhere over there and somewhere over there. It handles so ridiculously fast. And this one is way more subtle. That, that's the word I was looking for. More, more subtle to ride. That's why I like bigger wheels in the front. 19 is good, 21 is good. Some time ago I rented a mobile home here at Dicat. And I always see when I'm riding on the highway like a very big ass ramp filled with, uh, filled with mobile homes. I do wonder. Just gonna have a quick look. Not really sure if I'm allowed to go up there, but this place is like... Have you ever seen this many mobile homes together? Look, we got the parking lot over here. I see this like big ramp you can get on top of the roof. Not really sure if I'm allowed to do this, but you know, it's like free commercial. Look at that, decat. Holy cow, there is like... How on earth do you get so many mobile homes? Oh, there's another parking lot over here. Look at that. It's like... <laughs> and this is just a roof. Oh, oh shit. So I was just saying like, yeah, this is just a roof, like, short turn, short turn, Smokey, can we do it? Can we do it? Of course we do, can do it, no problems. So not only the inside is packed with mobile homes, also down and also, yeah, this is a rooftop. Yeah, this is nuts. Anyway, I'm a little bit hungry. Let's, uh, let's find some chow as well. I'm so weird sometimes. Why do I like doing things like this? Why do I like doing this stupid shit? I have no idea. That's also a very cool Mercedes. Look at that Mercedes van. Also like a hundred and plus thousand euros, but anyway. 
can I just do this oh yeah yeah I can do this I just want to do yeah I can't really do this but don't look like that don't look that ugly at me lady now the uh, only problem with wikilock apps with the wikilock app and the routes is that you're not really sure if some work is going on or it's still legal to ride yeah uh, we also have some off-road routes in that wikilock app and some of them are just very illegal not a lot of people know that but a lot of them are very illegal anyway we gotta gotta find a little bit of a detour here wow we got a nice designo bridge over here look at that a very nice design indeed that's a water going on water on the left as well yeah, very relaxing very relaxing i like this i like this a lot yeah this is uh this is another reason why the wikilock app is sounds a little bit weird because this one says go straight ahead and that sign says no you're absolutely not going straight ahead so hmm it's gonna be something like left and right or something i don't know but so yeah wikilock is not always the best what in the world that is so nasty Calm down, Ducati. Calm down. Calm, calm down now. Oh, I think if I'm going to go into right here, I'm going to be in trouble, but we'll find out later. <laughs> now, <laughs> look at that. I'm over there, and the route's over there. I have to be over there. Ah. Um, like I said before, I don't really have the tires for this, and I have no idea what motorcycle this guy has been riding when he made this route, but... I'm pretty sure it was not a Panigale or something or something on uh, very nice street tires because this is this is getting a little bit greasy and a little bit wet yeah <laughs> also smells like farmers here though hmm. what in the world yeah this is this is some greasy stuff already here why am I here again was this guy riding an enduro motorcycle or something this this is just sand and gravel and a little bit of mud hmm. and I don't have the right tires for it I Smokey calm down calm down Smokey it's like very greasy oh 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 why me why me oh. yeah there's there's like full throttle you see that there's like no grip whatsoever it's like riding on ice yeah I gotta follow the route though but full throttle <laughs> check the girls like nah nah Hey, was he talking to me? No idea. No idea. Hmm. All right, just like that. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, calm down, Ducati. Calm down. Calm down. Ah, so smooth. Pow. Pow. <laughs> Ducati Italian smoothness. Italian smoothness. Uh, now I had to stop for a couple of times pretty fast. And I noticed that these brakes, yeah, they are good. But if you compare this with the uh, Multishot RS, if I was like, oh, damn, I have to go left here and I would hit the brakes very hard, that bike would almost uh, like throw me over. Really got to be careful with that doing stoppies. And this is more like touring. This is more like, oh, yeah, soft brake. Nothing too aggressive. Just very smooth, very soft. Just, a lot, just the way Smokey likes it, actually. Stay close, you. Oh, look at that. Oh, so smooth. Oh, we got some water parties going on right here. If I'm correct, this is a postal or something. Yeah. The Panacook boat. The Panacook boat. Now, we have something called a pancake boat. I think it was sold a couple years ago, but on the left, it's like so you can eat pancakes on a boat. It makes no sense whatsoever to eat a pancake on a boat, but it turns out it is for many, 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 many years, it was like a very big tourist attraction because you could eat a pancake on a boat like I mean a pancake on a boat you know a pancake on a boat that that's it oh oh the boat moved no no the boat was just laying there it doesn't it's just on top of the water it's not sailing anywhere but you could just eat a pancake anyway big tourist attraction who would know why the hell would he would he go around this place wait something is up the route on it, this dude recorded himself doing this. Why in the world would he go do this? And then, uh, wait, what in the world did he do? He just took a detour on the parking lot or something? Oh, 
Wait, huh? Something is up here. Wait a minute. So we went all the way around there and then back out? So yeah, also this <laughs> this route this guy was doing might have might have been uh, like uh, 10 years old. I'm not really sure, but there is there is no way I can do this. No way. They put like a gate in here and there's like an entrance over there. My friend, what have you been doing here? What have you... Oh, big pile of white sand. Ah, oh, versus multistrata. <laughs> Can't do that. Anyway. My word. There has been... Oh, look at that. Oh, everything is covered in water here. Like, and probably in about two weeks, the greenish guys underneath us are going to be saying like, you cannot wash your car because there is not enough water. But holy cow, that was... Everything is like flooded here. Look at that. There's even like signs. Bali! I kid you not. I have been standing here for five minutes. Now there's finally a car behind me and the light is not jumping on to green. So I think it's got magnets in the ground that make sure that doesn't see me and the motorcycle. So sometimes these lights have like magnets or something in the ground and when I notice a car on top only then they will jump to green. Everybody has been... Look at that. Now they go again. And in a second they will go again, but this light is not jumping to green. Am I going to have to go to a red light just to go to the left? Look, if those guys go, then it's the third time or the fourth time even that they're going to be going. Look at that. And they're gone again. So something is seriously wrong. This old guy behind me is probably going to notice as well. But something is up here. That arrow doesn't... Look at that. Now that goes to green. And now these guys go to green. So normally... Normally... When those guys have been gone. These guys have been gone. Now it should be my turn. Right? Okay. Let's go. That goes to orange. Okay. So it should be mine. Nope. And they're going again. What in the... Something is bad. Something is up here. Something is not right. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Yep, and now these guys go again. So yeah, I think... I think I'm just gonna have to ignore these lights. Because... <laughs> it's it's never going to green. I'm really sorry, please. I think there's something wrong, but it's not jumping onto green. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, this dude did it again. This is a dead end. But I got a feeling he took his bike off-road because there's a lot of off-road stuff coming. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out, but oh he has been doing Oh he's been he has been doing a ton of off-road here. Oh this is bad. So I'm just gonna try and avoid that. But I might have a sneak peek, you know, just, it doesn't hurt to look, right? <laughs> it doesn't hurt to take a little sneak peek. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's just a little bit of mud and I can still do it. But if it's a little bit too much, yeah, you know. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no, this is not, this is not a good idea. Nope, 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 nope. We got some wet grass over there. No, this is only going to get from uh, bad to worse. No, <laughs> not gonna do that. Don't you worry, Ducati. My Ducati friends responsible for these motorcycles are looking at this video, think like, don't do it, don't do it, Smokey, don't do it. Ah, don't you worry, don't you worry, I'm good, I'm good. Maybe, maybe I can... <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Just now, maybe a little bit to my surprise, I just crossed the sign that said I'm in the Netherlands. I have no... Oh, 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 oh. I have no idea how that happened, but suddenly, out of nowhere, I'm in the Netherlands. And here is a dude on a Yamaha. I have no idea how it happened, but suddenly I'm in the Netherlands. Oh, and this is bad. Okay, so this dude was on an Enduro or something? God dang it! He did it again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was not riding. Yeah, I mean, it's it's some pebbles and some some sand. Uh, I think the Grand Tour can handle this, right? Oh, oh, the, the underground is very loose. Oh, this is bad. Oh, front wheels going from left to right. Oh, this is bad. Okay, no, 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 no. I thought I was gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I have to go back. No, front wheel is going from left to right. These pebbles are very acting strange. 
That is not good, smoky. Not good at all. So the Grand Tour is not really made for this terrain, but uh, <laughs> uh, also the tires very bad, smoky, very bad, and uh, yeah, we're gonna need smoky bubbles for this one. Anyway, let's get cracking again. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind the front wheel sliding from left to right, but the road tires on this gravelish terrain. And the problem is expensive motorcycle, brand spanking new, 700 kilometers on the dash, and no crash bars. Yeah, I mean, uh, the rally has crash bars, well, not stock. They also need to pay for that, but I don't want to crash these bikes, so yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna ride on this loose gravel. Anyway, I'm hungry. I need a, I need a sandwich or something. But the, ah, oh, the route, the route. Yeah, the route is probably going to be a fucked, uh, fucked as hell. Hmm. Maybe I, maybe I can ride on this terrain, I don't know, but, hmm. I think we're gonna have to make a little detour here at Rackle Smokey. I think we do, yeah. Let's check it out. Oh, that's a long way down. And then he goes all the way over there, and then he goes back. What the hell has he been drinking? Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure some stuff out. Fun fact, I am uh, I am nowhere close to the route anymore. I see a lot of mud, a lot of mud, and not a lot of people. Now, yeah. anyway, let's keep on going. It's not an adventure until you're lost. There is literally like miles and miles of forest over here. I have never seen so many single tracks. Oh, and trails and oh, ah. Oh. Why am I not on a rally? Ah. So yeah, Smoky Special, once again, I'm on a road following a route where I can't really see the route anymore. It's somewhere over there. I'm following an off-road route and it's also starting to rain. Great, and I didn't bring any rain gear. Nice. It's gonna be cold, it's gonna be wet. But good times though, good times. So the route is again on the left. I don't really like those marbles that I'm seeing over there. And I'm pretty hungry. I think I'm gonna get some lunch here anyway. I don't fit. I don't fit in with those people. I need. I need some takeaway. I need some takeaway. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna find myself a sandwich. A sandwich here or there. So yeah. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. Sorry, I couldn't really finish the tour. But in the next video, we're gonna be doing a lot more riding with the Multistrada V4 S Grand Tour. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys next one. Please drive safe. See ya. If you want to see the next video, it is right over there. If you want to see my favorite video, it is right over there. Subscribing is done right over here. And if you want to know all about YouTube, go to smokeytube.com. See you guys next one. Click one of these.